you guys, it's Minnie CJ. Today I want to come to you with how to apply makeup on mature skin. If you're interested in seeing this video, keep on watching. apply my skincare everything that I use will be in the description box below but right now I'm using Dermnology Needless Serum and I usually use this because it says to use this on damp skin and so I love the way this you can feel it just absorb instantly uh, I love how this feels on my skin and again, you guys know I always talk about this. Always apply your skincare in an upward position. You guys know. <laughs> Never pull down. Do not want anything going down. <laughs> All right. So, after I apply that, I'm going in with my Elizabeth Arden capsules. And this is Hyaluronic Acid capsules, okay? I love Elizabeth Arden Hyaluronic Acid capsules because it has just the right amount for your skin and I always like to apply this also on damp skin. You know when I first started using this at first I was like wow it's just laying on my skin like but I realized when my skin is damp it absorbs so much better and I love how it feels on my skin and never ever forget your neck. Now the next thing that I like to apply and I always like to Give it about a minute or so to absorb into my skin before I apply the next product. I get asked that all the time, so I thought I would just clarify that. I always wait like a minute or so before applying the next product. Now I'm using the Paula's Choice Vitamin C Clinical Serum, and I just put a little bit on my hands like this and apply it onto my skin as well. A lot of times you'll see me just press it in. Ugh. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. It helps to brighten the skin, make the skin look alive, to give it that glow that I get so many compliments on. I use skincare every day on my skin. And now I'm applying my moisturizer. And I'm using the moisturizer by JLo Beauty, that blockbuster. I love this moisturizer. It's a little pricey, but I love it. I love it. I love it. It is just so nice and rich and creamy, and it hydrates the skin. It doesn't just lay there. Okay. And I'm also using the sunscreen by her as well, and it's called That Big Screen, a SPF of 30. I just take a good little amount and just apply it onto my skin. It has no white cast. She did really great when she did the sunscreen. I love it. Usually my skincare routine is like my relaxing time in the morning. When I just love to apply this on my skin and just sit back. and uh, It just feels so good when applying. So I love this time. Alright, skin feels nice and hydrated. All the products. Now I'm going to apply my eye cream. And I think I'm going to use my Paula's Choice vitamin C eye cream right here so I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my ring finger because this is the most delicate finger for your eyes your eyes is very sensitive the skin around the eye area is very thin it's like I believe they say it's like eight times thinner than the skin on your face so very delicate and I like to put it around and above the eye area just to hydrate this area especially if you have mature skin like me okay <laughs> I have mature dry skin so I like to start everything off hydrating okay hydrating hydrating very very important so lately as I've gotten older and my skin has changed I realized that the best thing you know for mature skin in my opinion is to use a primer when applying your foundation primer helps to smooth out 
any fine lines. It helps your foundation apply so much better and it lasts longer. Two of my favorite primers. These are my absolute favorite and I think they are great for mature skin. One is by Dermablend. It's the Insta Grip Jelly Primer right here. And the next primer is by Dermnology. It's called the number one primer. So today I think I'm going to use the Dermnology, the number one primer. Both are great, but I'm just going to use that one today. And I apply it on my forehead, around my mouth area, anywhere that you have like the fine lines that you have. A problem with like if you see more fine lines up here then apply it up here to your forehead or around like maybe the eye area not up near the eye area you don't want to go that far up but you know kind of close you know everything to apply smoothly and I'll apply this also in an upward position as well now a lot of times what I like to do I love to use foundations that's a little bit deeper than my complexion not too much because you don't want a big gap between your neck and your face okay something a little deeper than your complexion just a smidgen you know what I'm saying to blend into your skin because I find that when you use something lighter or maybe exactly your complexion sometimes it can make you look older Okay, trust me, and we are not trying to look older, all right? So, today I'm going to use the Forever Skin Glow by Dior, okay? I love this foundation. It has medium coverage, but you can build it to full coverage if that's what you prefer. A lot of times, I do not, but today I think I'm going to build it a little bit more than normal. Usually, I like the more natural look because I'm going out with hubby and we're taking pictures with some people. <laughs> so, I really want my makeup to look nice and my skin to look nice and flawless, but not overly done. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So, I apply this on my little makeup pad, if I can find it. I just had it sitting out here so I would not have to look for anything. Found it. I've always, always shake it up. Okay. And I'm just applying a little bit. Now this is a little deep, deeper than my complexion. Not too much. Okay. But a little deeper. So I'm just... And another thing that I like to do, I like to take a little razor. Sometimes if I have little peach fuzz and shave that off. But I did that. Um two weeks ago and, and it looks okay so I do not have to do that but I do shave my face not with a razor razor like one of those razors you get from the beauty supply you know with the little handle on it I've been doing that for years now and no it does not make my skin break out I don't get bumps for it or anything like that no, thank goodness now after applying this on here I just kind of stubble it I'm using the BK Beauty 101 brush and I'm just starting to apply it okay onto my skin I never take foundation all the way up to my eye area because if you're going to use concealer then you don't want to do that because it can cause creasing and you do not want that especially if you have fine lines and wrinkles around the eye area like I do so I am not trying to emphasize that and showcase that at all <laughs> okay so as you can tell it's blending in very well, and I love that. Now, I like to do my eyebrows after I apply my foundation. That's just something I like to do. I don't like to do it before. And see, and I'm taking a little bit more and going back over it. Kind of just, you know, I'm not making it full coverage you guys know if you've been with me any length of time i love more of a natural look and i'm gonna make this look natural as well but i just want a little bit more coverage sometimes i go for full coverage but i showed you in my previous video how you can make full coverage foundation look natural now i'm just going to show you how you can apply a couple of layers of foundation that's medium coverage and make it still look natural again do not take it all the way up Right here is good enough. I've used all of that basically. So that's a pretty good amount I've covered up. A lot of times when I really want to go for a natural, natural look, I leave some of my imperfections showing on purpose, you know? So 
it going down that neck. Don't want to get it too off, okay? So what I'm going to do is take a damp sponge, makeup sponge. This one is by Wet n Wild. I love their makeup sponges. They're just really great and affordable. And I just go over it. Anything that's just laying there that did not absorb, <laughs> I just tap off. See? We're trying to make it look seamless. We want it seamless all around the hairline, but I do this first and then I go around the hairline last, okay? Like right around this area to make it kind of just blend in. You don't want to have it looking where you can see where everything, I even go around my ear area like, so here we go so far. If you want to apply another layer, then you can. You can just go back in and apply another layer. But this is where I'm going to stop right here. Next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. And I'm just using a, <laughs> a new eyebrow brown pencil that I just purchased from like one of the little um, beauty stores. Really no name brand line, of, but it's brown. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I just take light strokes. Now, I don't spend too much time on my eyebrows. I just, I like to just fill them in a little bit and make them look decent because my eyebrows are sparse now for some reason. <laughs> I guess as you get older, you start losing your eyebrows a little bit, I guess. But I just fill them in, honey. Fill them in. Oh, I feel like I'm getting ready to have a hot flash. I always keep this right up here. Oh, my goodness. Woo, because I'll bust out in a flash in a minute, honey. I cannot find my other brow pencil. But, so I'm going to clean it up with this one. It's by Milani. I like this one. Well, I like my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm lazy, so I do not like to take a lot of concealer and do all of that. <laughs> I just use this. Quick, easy, clean it up. I'm not sculpting all of that stuff. I'm not going through all that. <laughs> I don't do all that. See all these youngsters carving out the eyebrows. I'm like, oh, I do not have that time. <laughs> now I'm just taking the 209 Beauty brush and just cleaning it up, okay? Just a little bit, just cleaning it up. And yes, eyebrows do frame your face. That's why I don't like them too dark and I don't like them too light and sparse because you want to look like you have some eyebrows. You don't want to look like, you know, they're just thin and sparse. You know, you want to look like you have some eyebrows. You just don't want them looking like super dark. It makes you look older, okay? You want brown, brown. Use brown line. Unless you just have that really jet black cold hair that, you know, that's just then. But even a lot of times the dark brown works just as well. That's it for the brows. Brows are done, okay? I'm going to use some of my... Hourglass Concealer, and I think what shade is this in? This is in the shade Doom, okay? Yeah, it's called Doom. Get my Angie Hyden Flashy A506 Concealer Brush. Just going all the way up because I'm concealing and covering up all at the same time. As you can tell, concealer foundation washes you out. That's why you want to bring a little bit of life back to your complexion. Now I'm just taking my setting powder by Hourglass and just applying it over my lid so it will not crease because I'm deciding on what eyeshadow palette I'm going to wear. <laughs> or use today. If I wanted to color correct or if you have any darkness around here, this is when you would add a little bit of color correct. I usually don't do it to my eye area. Every now and then when it's really deepness under here, I may color correct or around my mouth, but I don't have any discoloration lately. One of my favorite palettes, and I use this quite often when I want a little bit of color because I love this palette. It's by Natasha Denona, the retro, okay? <laughs> I love this palette. It's one of my favorite palettes. So usually I'm just doing bronzers or browns, but today I think I'm going to do the pinks and mauves and things like that. So I'm going to go in with this nude, what is it called? I can't even see it. Uh, I'm going to go in with 
nude mauve, okay? That color right there. I'm just gonna apply this all over basically the lid. This is gonna be a, like my little base. I have hooded eyes, so my eyelids, the skin kind of come over my eyelids a little bit. <laughs> oh, I know, it's just uh, the things you have to deal with as you grow older. But I'm thankful that I'm growing older. That's a blessing, you know? It really is. Just thinking about one of my best friends. I have a couple of best friends that's going on to glory, you know? Going on to see the Lord. And one of my best friends, my sister, I just love her. I miss her so much. And she died in her 40s. So, you know, I'm thankful to have reached 53. And uh, thank you for all the birthday wishes. I really thank you so much. I saw all the birthday wishes and thank you. So now I am going in with Amara, Amora, right here. This, little, this Amora shade right there. I'm going to just take this and I'm going to start on the outer corners first because I'm only using a couple of shades. You guys know I'm not doing a whole bunch and I'm going to go to the corners and I'm going to kind of bring it in. I'm using the brush 202 by BK Beauty. I love these brushes. They're really great quality and they're affordable. You know, they're not the two and three hundred dollar brushes. They the a set may cost about a hundred or two hundred, maybe the whole set, but they're not two and three hundred dollars a brush. I'm like, okay, really. So I'm just starting right here, just going, kinda going in this crease, like in the middle and up a little bit, you know. Kinda just going in here like that. <laughs> kinda getting in that crease. And I'm just taking the little edge of the brush and just kinda circling around. Really gonna make sure I hit this edge though because that's what I want, okay? Right here. I'm not one that likes the cut really, you know how they put the tape on it. I don't like that. I like more mine of a more rounded because of my eye shape. And you have to do what's best for your eye shape, okay? <laughs> so this is what I'm doing now. I'm just going in and just right in this crease area, taking the tip of this and going in. But I'm doing the same thing on this side as well. Tell you, as you get older, everything changes. Your skin changes, and, and you know, you just have to adapt and change with it. Do, you can't do the same things that we used to do, which is actually, you know, it, it's different. It's very different. So, again, I'm going in this crease. Just blending. I'm just blending as I go. And I'm going to blend some more with that same color that I, um, had earlier that what is it nude mauve I'm gonna go back in and just the out just kind of blend it a little bit but right now I'm just going in this crease in the outer corner kind of deepen it up and just bringing it over same brush that I had earlier and just kind of blending out any harsh lines anything you want to just kind of blend this out okay I'm going in with this deep one it's it's called groove right here on the outer corners just to give it a little bit more depth right in that little outer corner area but I'm going for more of a smoky look this time and whatever I have left on my brush I'm just, with that I'm just taking and kind of going ahead and adding it to my bottom lash Just bringing it down. It starts to look a little messy at first, but it'll get better, okay? <laughs> Blending everything together. Take my last color called, what is this color? What is this shade? This shade is called Vienna. Vienna, I believe. And I'm going right in here. This is like a shimmer, but it's not a shimmer. I just love to see. I'm almost in the hit pan with this, honey. Right there. Love it. But I'm taking the my 
209 brush by BK Beauty and just going right up in here, right up in the middle. And just applying that shade right here. I love the way this looks. Now I'm going to take my liquid liner and this is by Siete. Siete. I love this liquid liner. I like how precise it is. I like the little fine little tip on it. I'm not making a wing. I don't make wings anymore on my eyes. I just stopped liking how they look on me. So I just stopped doing it. I just kind of go as close to the lash line as possible and just create a little, a little line, a little wing, a little deepness. Right right there. See, I'm not even making a wing. As you can tell, I'll go as far as I can to that lash line. And to the inner corner. Taking my black liner, and I'm just going right up under this waterline up top of here. Right up under this lash line, and just to deepen it up, because sometimes your skin can show up under here. <laughs> And we don't want that. Okay. Today I am going to wear some falsies. Can y'all believe it? <laughs> so I'm just going to take my lash curler and curl my lashes. I'm going to use my lashes by BK Beauty. It is Risa Does Makeup, okay? And these are the Vegas lashes. Here they are right here, the Vegas lashes. You can see them. And so, yeah, they're super cute. And they're easy to put on. And they work well with mature eyes, okay? Love that. Love it, love it, love it. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm just pulling these off. And I'm going to apply these onto my lids. All right, so wait till it's tacky. And I apply these as close to the lash line as I can get them. Go back over with my liner. Concealer again by Hourglass. And I'm just gonna apply one, two, three. One, two, three. Three dots, I'm gonna apply some on my nose. It's just giving a little bit of a little contouring, okay? just. A little bit today. I'm going to take my concealer brush again. I'm not going way up to the line because I still do not take it all the way up. But I take it just about up. Okay. I know it seems like a lot and I'm going, I'm making my eyes like a, like a round. I'm not cutting it like this because that's just what I like. Okay. That's just how my eyes are and I like that. I don't like that Shh. look on me. Some people request it when I do their makeup. They'll say, oh, can you? Well, I ask them, how do you like that? You want it cut like you want the sharp line or do you want it like oval? So it just depends. Some people say, oh, just do what you want, whatever you think is best. And I will. <laughs> sometimes I will just cut it like that or sometimes I will not, you know. Just depends on the eye shape most of the time. Okay. Love this brush. And I'm just blending out everything. Right, with using this little brush. Okay. Looks like a lot, but it's not. It's really not a lot. Take my Depth Beauty sponge, and I'm just blending everything in, okay? Just blending it. Um, I do not like where the concealer is super light, okay? It looks light on camera, but trust me, it's like a shade lighter than me. That is it. It's not super light which i do not like because i think the lighter it is under your eyes the older you look <laughs> and that's just my opinion like really okay so i like to take my beauty sponge add a little bit of my setting spray to it a hydrating setting spray now this one is by revolution hydrate and fix and i just apply it to this area and then let it set okay just let it dry and then I go over it with setting powder. While this is drying, in the meantime, I'm going to use a cream contour. I think I'm going to go in with this deeper shade right here. This is by Estesia Contour Cream Series, okay? 
Sometimes I will use this. It just depends. So, But today I am. So I'm going to take my little angle brush by Angie Hyden Flash. It's the A507 brush. And I'm just going to start carving out. Just going right here. I'll start off light first. because This is this light shade. And I always start like here, like where my earlobe is, and bring it down. I can use a smaller brush. Let me use this smaller ankle brush because I think it gets in there a little bit better, like I want it to. Now, this should be like maybe a shade or two deeper, your contour. You don't want it too deep where it's showing. So now I have it on my brush. And I'm just going around the jawline right up in here. Because sometimes if we age, we get that little sunken, you know, that little jaw, little area right there. Which I do not like at all. <laughs> so I'm just blending everything in. I'm going to stop for a minute. I'm going to take my setting powder by Hourglass. It's called Diffuse Light. And I'm just going to apply a little bit onto my BK Beauty 110 brush. It's like a sponge and a makeup brush all at the same time. I love it. And I'm just going to tap some over. Not a whole bunch because I'm not baking. I don't bake, okay? When I bake, I look a thousand. I have tried it. It is not a pretty sight, honey. You would see me using a um, a powder bronzer. And I do, but I'm taking whatever's left on my little brush and just doing my nose right around here so it can just carve it out a little bit. Not much. I'm not really doing a whole, whole bunch, but I'm blending in everything now, okay? I'm just blending. You can take your, your beauty sponge and go back and go over it as well. Just to make sure everything is blended very seamlessly. You don't want to show that your contour. <laughs> I would not do all of this on a normal, but I'm taking pictures. Now I am using my hourglass. What is it? Ambient hourglass. My best friend here on YouTube. Bridget, she bought me the snake one just like this, so I am so happy I have the set. Let me see if I can get it. It is with the brush. It's the same palette, and I love it. <laughs> she bought it for me for my birthday, sent this over to me with the brush. So cute. She's here on YouTube as well, keeping it simple with Bridget. I'll put her link in the description box below, and go on over there and check her out. Tell her niece J sent you, okay? Subscribe to her channel as well. She's a sweetie. So, I'm going to take my cute little brush. I think I'm going to start off with this blush right here. I like these two together. I always love peachy type blushes. This is a peachy and a pink. I think peachy blushes look good on all skin. You cannot go wrong. So I'm just applying it right here. Right here. Right like near the temple, like near your ear. You do not want to bring it all the way down here, okay? You don't want the rosy cheeks. We don't do that anymore because it makes us look old, okay? <laughs> you want to keep your blush up here. It will appear to look like you bring it down here, but you're just applying it up here, okay? That's a little trick. I'm going to take my setting powder by Hourglass. This is one of my favorite setting powders. I also love Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. Now this with the big BK Beauty 102 brush powder brush and I'm just going to apply it to my entire face to set just to keep your makeup looking nice and it keeps it and this will help make it last longer. It also helps with transferring to other people. Once you set it with the setting spray and powder helps it a lot, trust me. You know how sometimes when you do not set and you hug somebody's on their cheek or on their clothes, well, when you use powder and set with a setting spray, that does not happen, okay? Because I was one of them people that will light your shirt up, honey. <laughs> 
you hug me and woo. Today I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter and I'm going to set with that. I always like to apply my highlighter after I set my face with the setting spray. So I like to apply it right here on the cheekbones up above the, right above where you have the blush and right around this part of the hairline. What is that um, called? The temple. <laughs> right around the temple. I had to think about that for a minute. So right above where your blush is, right to the temple, okay? And I like to apply just a little bit on the nose and a little bit on the cupid's bow. <laughs> I've had this liner so long, I forgot the name of it. But it's from MAC, and I think it's called Passion. I love matte lipstick, so I'm wearing this liquid matte by Huda Beauty. This little liquid matte right here. And I forgot how I looked in here and I said, oh my goodness, I love these shades and I haven't used them in a while. So I said, let me wear this today. It is called Trophy Wife by Huda Beauty. And this is a pretty shade. I really like it. It feels really moisturizing and nice. I like this a lot. I think it's pretty. And you know what? I think I need a little pop. Just a little pop of color. Like in my eye area. I do this all the time. Sometimes I say, hmm, I need a little pop. Because this is deep. And I like it. I like the way this looks. But I think I need a little pop of mm, something just to brighten it up. I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill palette because it has so many bright colors and they're beautiful. I think I'm gonna use this this pink right here. <laughs> this one is called um, Lolly Mommy Mama right there. It's hot. It's a little but I'm just gonna add it for a pop of color. I think I need it. See, oh, that is so pretty. I'm glad I did that. That's what's missing. Just a pop of color. So this is the final look. All right, so that is all I have for you today. I hope this video was interesting and helpful, especially if you are trying to apply foundation. I say full coverage or medium coverage to your skin. You really want a flawless but natural look especially this time of year when the holidays are coming up and you have special events and things that you need to go to you really want your makeup to look flawless but natural not so heavy and cakey we can do that okay you just have to know what to do techniques that we need to just use and focus on with mature skin that's different from this younger generation but anyway guys thank you so very much for just taking time out to watch my video I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Peace and love until next time. For you, for you say goodbye.